All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And it is um, 34 degrees in Chicagoland area. This coming from uh, two days ago, it was 72 degrees. It was absolutely gorgeous out. And then at night, it we got hit with a huge line of thunderstorms. There was some tornado touchdowns on the west part of Illinois. Uh, coming out of uh, Ohio and didn't hear about any uh, damage or anything but for about two hours we were in uh, tornado watch tornado sirens went off everything else then the snow four o'clock in the morning it starts snowing then the next day it's 19 degrees we went from 72 degrees to 19 degrees crazy and now today like I said it's um, 34 degrees but enough of the um, enough of the uh, weather I'm bouncing on couch mama told me never to jump on the furniture I'm doing it because I'm <laughs> yeah Okay, so how's everybody doing out there? Great. And you can see I got my smoke going. I got my fireplace. I'm in the uh, the lodge. I went through a fit of... Um, oh, uh, I finished the lodge. I'm going to show it off. This is a show-off video today. So this is, my, this is my private room in the lodge. I have a little kitchenette. Cool. most important thing is a coffee maker and um, I have the full fireplace I'm gonna and it's mine so there um, kind of cool come back here we got cool uh, area hang your stuff and dressers we have a shower no really And the new lights that I put in from uh, from updating the tech pack. I think that one looks cool there. Nice. And I can... Um, oh, that one doesn't appear... That one doesn't appear to have... You can't control that one. Not like... I do. Not like the other one, which is here this one does have tube line industrial lamp number 1148 but this one doesn't seem to have that let's see put this one I wonder if it's because I did something to it oh yeah 1149 so if you take your screwdriver and move it no? I wonder what happened. Because that one's 1149, but this one doesn't seem to have a number. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't plan on having this one automated. I could put a switch on the wall and hide something where you come in and do that. I've done that before. So, that's the bathroom. Got a computer desk, some pictures, cool. little place to eat. You saw the deck on everything. So what we're going to do real quickly is we're, we're going to go out to the outside. And there's a bunch of things that I can show. Very nice atmosphere. And like I said, I do everything as a, as a big picture. And in terms of um, a theme, a layout. So you come in and down here we have a little, we have a real nice like sitting area. Some tables, you can get your drinks and, and camp out. And then we have fireplace down here. 
make some more smoke because why not i i did this in another house where i had these slats i'll turn on uh these are shutters home decor shutters but they give a nice kind of the whole the whole idea of this lodge was kind of a woodsy you know everything is earth tones nice but you can look out the two walls are uh glass obviously we're gonna go to daylight look at that view cool you can camp out here with your um get your food and drink from over here over here again with all oh, the fireplace is what's taking that up on the other side kind of strange because there's um i have glass all the way up to there over here but you got the back door you know to go out i extended the deck for the complete length of the back end nice so you come back through here and you have a bar cool and you have great views more tables and everything is kind of set up and then you have the kitchen is hidden back here it's a weird kind of kitchen but it works nice I'm going to say that awful lot in this video. Just the way it's set up with the with the roof here. I kind of like this look. I've seen it. I've had friends that had like a, in their house. They had like a bar rec room. And they had this kind of fake roof here. Kind of cool. So then we come up to the second floor. I killed one of the stairs. Because... <laughs> When you're dealing with a pre-made structure, it kind of, the stairs were right here, but it blocked off the bathrooms and the room back here. So this is where we just came out of. And then back here, this little hallway, this is going to be bathrooms for realism's sake. Because there are no bathrooms on the first floor. But it, it, it works. I like it. So I eliminated one of the stairs to create the hallway. And you come around, you know, you got some nice furniture. And you come around to the first room. And it's adequate. Because you, you're not going to be in it. So... Instead of using a shower because of the lack of space. And I can't cut through the floor. Because if you cut through the floor, there's the there's the first floor. This is not double floored. The, um... You... I can't, I can't do my shower trick unless I had four wide. But I used a bathtub. And some curtain rods, curtains. To give the impression of shower, or um... Yeah, shower curtains. So, it's a, it's a comfortable room. There's a closet. You can hang stuff. A desk. So, that's room number one. Cool. This room here. Now, if, if Simicon didn't like the one room, Jane going to like this room. Because that's small. But I had to, I had to fit everything in again the bathroom um mom and pop chairs which are bouncy <laughs> mm. <clears throat> okay all right so that's room number two and then you come upstairs these rooms are weird but it's the best I could do with, with what I had. So these are the attic loft rooms. And basically, you got the huge window. This is the cheapest room in the place because you got, you can hang, wow, you can hang stuff right over the doorway. 
I didn't think about that. But it's comfortable. So you have all the amenities. You have the bathrooms. Um, small. But if you're, you're, you're coming out to a lodge for the atmosphere, you're going to be hiking. This room here is a little bigger. Came up with these cool um, closet ideas. But there's a closet. I can't put any hooks across because of this block is in this node. But it creates like this shelf type area. And this is the roof. I can't do anything about that. But I like it. It turned out cool. I mean, it pulls off the effect. Got high ceilings because of the roof. It's got, there's a bathroom over there. I've shown enough of them. It's got a full desk. You can sit down and enjoy yourself. Same bathroom. Not going to keep boring you with the realism because it, it, this is sort of fantasy. So this is just a mirror image of the room that we were just in. Same bathroom, same same thing, but it's done. Every room is completed. And that was the main goal. Was to get all these all these done. I was gonna leave the third floor and then I was like, well, just do it. And this one's a mirror image of, of the other room. So that's the top floor. So I eliminated one of the stairs. And like this here, you can't do anything about this because of size constraints. So, and then each one has access to, these two rooms have access to the deck. And I'm going to be doing more back here because I came up with, I had, well, I didn't come up with the idea. I will read it as, as y'all look over railing here. Um, Simbicon wrote, I just got a wild idea. You could put a massive aquarium in the center of all that and drop, drop one floor by one block, raise the roof and it would look better. Uh, also put some lounge chairs on the beach. Yes and no. And I'll get to that in a second because the great idea here is I for completely forgot about an aquarium, which I, I'm going to show because... A while ago, there was a video, um, and it, it, I can't remember the song. I have the song saved, but it was done at this aquarium in Charuami in Okinawa. And the whole video, the song is playing, and it's a, it's a, it's a, a slow pop song, very, very good song. And the um, song is called Please Don't Go. And I wonder if I could find it. Please Don't Go by Barcelona. I'm not going to play it because I'd get copy strucken. But it's called Please Don't Go by Barcelona. And there's a video out on it on YouTube. And it was done the backdrop of this aquarium and the, the fish and the whales and the sharks all circling around and there were divers in the tank taking care of the thing, but it, it was the second largest aquarium in the world. And you can't see, these are all the people here, but you can't see the different, um, None of these pictures really show it. Here's a tunnel under one. I have an idea for a tunnel through one of them. Um, there's another one here. Here's another observation room in the bottom. But there, this one. Th yeah, the same aquarium. With this glass. This is it. This, the one with the glass. Uh, you actually sit underneath all the millions of gallons of water. And it, it, it was quite beautiful. Um, but I want to do something like that. I just, what I'm looking for now, so that's a very, very good idea. What I'm looking for now is a place to actually put it because I, I'll show you in a second, 
But, and the, the barbecue grill, I came up with a new idea. Lounge chairs on the beach. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, at Briley, just in case it's helpful, you can hold the shift key down while clicking on interactive blocks like tubes. You place blocks on them or connect tubes without triggering the form spec. Ah. I wish, you know what, seriously, I wish I knew that when I was doing the, um, when I was doing the Secret Squirrel Factory and the, um, and the mining factory up on the northern area because that had a lot of tubes and tubes are amazingly hard to play with but I wonder if that's going to work here so what I can do there was one where you tried placing it oh I think it was this one so one of these, if you tried placing it, okay, so that did that. So let's hold down the shift key. Did he say shift? Yeah, hold down the shift key. <laughs> uh, this isn't the proper one, I think. Um, and here's why. Why is that showing? Okay. Uh, and here's why. I'm going to have to try it on the tube. No, why'd you do that? There we go. Uh, that is an excellent idea. And I think that would work. I'll, I'll play with the tubes outside. So that is going to be inside. Now let's go outside. So... Like I said, this is going to be the beachfront, pro beach front, words are hard, beachfront property. And then we have forest behind. So we have some oak trees. We have all this area back here. And I'm sure somewhere I can put an aquarium. Got this kind of forest, got the house here. We have our, you can, wow, you can hear it. That's so cool. Remember, those are the chimney blocks from fake fire. One, two, uh, so I'm not done with the beach area yet because I do want to put some kind of dock in. And this is the, this is over here. The, um, this is where like the scientists and it's a, it's a hotel. Cool. It's like the hotel for, um, the scientists or for the geologists or whatever people that are in the nature, but this is more for the hikers. And, you know, the campers, and they come down to the beach. They can go to the lodge and get something to eat. There's a rat. I do not like... I do not like rats. Sorry, Mr. Rat. I could go in the pets and... Um, delete that. I had to turn off the squirrels because the squirrels used to cause a problem. I wonder if it... I have to re... I have to re um, enable squirrel to see if they cause a problem. They were getting nuts. You, uh, there was one area there was, there was 15 squirrels jumping around and then they would crash the game. So, but that was a long time ago. We come over here. We, we know about the Arboretum or the um, conservatory, put a car there. They were lonely. But then I use, I, before I read Simpicon's comment, because I could have put the aquarium right here. But what I chose to do is put a parking lot. No, really? And I'm, the building is the same design as the conservatory to a point. Because we got these real cool artwork 
slats going on but what this is this is a bike shop this is a bike rental for nature riding on trails and stuff and you can rent it through this thing here no humans needed then you have outdoor bathrooms for realism because I'll get to the picnic grove in a minute but back here instead of putting a food court in I just put in a little um you know some a vending machine area you got a sink here you can do whatever you want you could prep something you got a microwave uh, I don't drink any soft drinks um ATM, change machine, food machine, Coke machine. You got all that. Very nice. Those are the ones. I So in machines, there's a popcorn machine. I, there's a cotton candy machine. But we're out here camping, right? So these picnic tables were made from cottages. And the grills are from uh, barbecue the BBQ mod. This one's in the ground, which is kind of cool because you can just do that and still have the full use of the grill, which I like. Um, but these are my old, my old patio. So I put those out there and the, the, all the lights turn on at night. So I went in and I added all these, all these lights. But up here, you come up here on the hill and you're kind of surrounded. I built this. So um, we need, uh, I need you. What did I just hit? Are you kidding me? Just hit something. Not real. Because, so you come back here, you, you got you got picnic tables. I could have put a, a patio set here, but you got the picnic tables. I made this grill. We're going to cook that. Okay, watch this. Boom, look at that. That is so cool. Let's cook another one. So it works and I believe I'm not sure I I believe the campfire mod is uh, I thought that was Nathan from mind mind test videos you know what go back into here go Content. Now yeah, we can do this one. Not found. Mods. Campfire mod. Let's see who wrote this mod because it's awesome. I used to know. Dependencies, firewood. This is a very cool mod. Well, Vanessa E is maintaining it. But I thought, um, provides new campfire. I, I could have swore, um, Nathan over at Mind Test Videos had something to do with this. N nevertheless, it is a very cool mod mod releases who posted this by Google nice um huh. I don't know but it's very cool. You can, like I, you, like I just showed, you can go back through. Um, this is new campfire. When was this? This was 2017. This one came out. So that's kind of cool that, of how that works. So 
I did the same thing and you feed it with sticks so you can see the it going up I'm feeding I'm feeding you sticks. I really like this mod it's very good looking and it's interactive and all I did this is just one of the de designs I'm playing with I have some bricks around here with um, my blast resistant concrete top and it, it looks cool I could have extended you know what I should have done is I should have put these blocks here and extended that out a little bit but it, it it's kind of a fire pit now if you want to take that one step further I was thinking about it but it, it doesn't it doesn't pull off let me try a tape table because I need usually you go to a forest preserve and they're going to have this kind of table and then we can put the campfire on it now we just need something to put on the sides I don't think I don't want to waste time here oh do that this is below this is right what uh, the effect that I want is now I could have probably used a half block and what I mean by that is... I'll show you in a second what the I I just ate would to pull this to pull this off you know a half block would look a lot better to pull this off yeah half blocks would have looked way better than that But this is how this is how you would um, try to do this here. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Cool. So this this is how you do something like that. And you, you just play around. I mean, that's you play around until you find something that looks to what you want oh beautiful so what we're going to do is going to oh that was perfect learn to use helper blocks boom so now we have our we have our little i could i should have made this out of steel because you go to the forest preserve and you will find that these, you know, that's too high. But you get the idea. You could, you could, you could, you could play with that. It's just a little too high. However, this sank down one would be perfect. But it's not as good looking as this one. Of course, I didn't really um, take that much time, but you can see how you can, within a few minutes, you can um, pull something off. I'm going to leave that there, let that die out. So, and I also have this brick. I could have done something with that. I've, I've done that before, but that brick looks a little too shiny. So, you need to come up with your own imagination. There, I said it. But I really do want, you know what? Let's do this real quick because I still have a few minutes left. Boom. And then we can add that on top. What I'm looking for here is does it add anything to does it add anything to my build here?
That's not bad. I think I like that better because it completely encloses this. So there you have it. There is there is the picnic area. You got the private area up here. You have the bike shop over here, and that's the bikes mod with the with the uh, bike painter. We have outdoor washrooms, cool designs, concessions. We have all this here, and the beach, um, the beach thing is right here. The beach house. I don't want to. I didn't want to change this. I I I got what she was talking about. If this was one block lower and you could raise the roof by one. We could put some, eh, we could put some chairs here. Um, there you go. I don't like, I don't like these that much. But we could put some chairs here. Lounge around. Hi, Mr. Panda. I don't want, I don't want to, uh, how you say, it's kind of cool. I don't want, yes, Mr. Kitty. I do not want to really cloud up the area, which is why I didn't really do anything over here. But I really like this layout of... You have the bathrooms, you have the showers, you have a uh, eatery up here, and then it just goes to all this area here for the hotel. And then come down here, we have, we have stuff on the beach. So all in all, this area is done. Now, the whole thing now, you know what? I have all this area back here. I'm wondering, if I should try to connect I think this might be a, a perfect candidate for an aquarium but I am going to work on that because I have a lot of a lot of cool ideas and a lot of stuff that you know we have the shed aquarium in Chicago um there's a lot of different stuff that we have. Ooh, look at that. Somebody remembered how to take a picture or the thumbnail. Nice. So this video is already rambled on for a half hour, but the main thing is I like coming up with the different ideas. If, if this could be lowered half, this would look like a forest preserve, what you'd see at the forest preserve. And they have three sides, metal half sides. But the problem is, is that it, that would be almost six feet tall. This would be at three foot level, but this up here is at the six foot level. So when you're, when you're standing next to it, see how you cook food up there. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it, it works. Ooh, something just hurt itself. The wolf. So there you have it. Let's go to nighttime. Oh, look at all my lights. Come on. You could utilize this area at night. Look how cool that looks. And there are some, there are some builders out there to put me to shame. Um, especially with the huge, uh, fantasy castle builds and everything. And I really do, um, admire those people that, that, can do that but this this is very pleasing for me in the sense that it's a theme that I'm trying to pull off a and it's not to say that anybody else isn't 
I mean, they pull off a whole uh, feeling or theme with a medieval world or um, whether it be medieval or fantasy or this is a world that I'd like to see in reality. So everybody has their purpose of what they're building. And I'm, regardless of whether anybody likes this world or not, I am really enjoying playing with this world. It's a stress reliever. Uh, and we all need that in our lives. Hi, Mr. Turtle. How you doing? So, I am going to leave you with... And this is... Wow, this video is under 50 minutes. Very nice. So we have that. We're going to come up here. This, this looks kind of hokey, but there's nothing more I can do with it. It's kind of... That's the way it is. And it's okay. We're going to bounce on the couch here. Because I like to. And I'm going to leave you with this beautiful... Um, the scenery of the fire. So, um, uh, oh, Lou, Lou Koo, I love your voice. I wish if, if you've ever done a podcast, I would listen to it regardless of what it is, even if it was just a weather channel. Well, Lou Koo. Um, <laughs> this is just for you then. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So, it is 37 degrees in Chicagoland area as of this moment. The high today will be 44. And the air quality is 40%, or 40 good. Slight winds coming from the uh, Midwest going east. The UV index is 4, moderate. The sunrise today will be at 5.41 p.m. Winds are at 10 miles an hour, gusting to 19 miles an hour. It feels like 30 degrees outside, zero participation in the last 24 hours, and the visibility is 24 miles if you're up in the air. The humidity is at 39%. The dew point is 15% right now, and the next full moon will be in 24 days. The pressure is 30.44 parametric uh, pressure. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. I used to have a podcast years ago called the Wasting Time Podcast. And we're going back like 15 years. And most of my, most of my, I was doing a lot of work with a podcast in Australia. Um, and I was popular out there. But I was never popular. I was popular in England and Australia, but mo that's where most of my views or uh, downloads came from. But in the United States, not so much. So, and it was just a funny rant and rave podcast talking about the the, the events of the day. And but the the highlight of it was we did a roundtable podcast with a podcast called Irk Pod out in Australia. Good day, mate. And um, there was like seven or eight of us and two people from, it was me from Illinois, uh, Sean from San Luis, Pis Pismo, California. And or, uh, I can't pronounce the city. I can never pronounce the city name. But uh, him and his wife were out there and we all would call in uh, once every two weeks. And it was, it was amazing. It was a great time, but I don't think I could ever redo that. So thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, build something, create something, destroy something in your world. <laughs> Have fun. Don't take anything too seriously. Do build what makes you happy. You and only you and enjoy whether your mind test minecraft fortnite whatever you build something in enjoy it so thanks for joining until the next episode goodbye <laughs>